hello everyone welcome back in today's tutorial rather i would say today's quiz in today's and upcoming sessions we are, we are going to have a different quiz about the mdm few of the comments i received from from my regular watchers regular youtube watchers and they are looking i think they are preparing for the mdm certifications and so they asked me can i provide kind of quiz tutorial or can i provide some questions so those can help their study so i thought why don't you prepare one quiz which will going to help them to start their study about their exam or their knowledge basis so let's start today's session so very first quiz for today's quiz session is which of these choices are associated with a base object properties so we know that in, in informatic mdm we have the base object so we are going to see what are the properties it is associated first property is complete tokenization ratio second is requeue on parent merge third is generate match tokens on load allow null update and allow constraint to be disabled so question is out of these properties what are the properties which are associated with the base object i'll give you one moment to think on that i hope you got the right answer and the right answer is complete tokenization ratio requeue on parent merge generate match tokens on load and allow constraint to be disabled allow null updates is available at staging level staging table not at base object next quiz question which table has lookup indicator definitions and the options are base object table staging table lookup table landing table and custom table and the answer is definitely you got it lookup table next quiz question can we configure exact match column in fuzzy match rule can we configure option a yes we can configure exact match column in fuzzy match rule option b no no we cannot configure exact match column in fuzzy match rule think about this i think you got the right answer and the answer is yes yes we can configure exact match column in fuzzy match rule next quiz question which are available within the enterprise manager means what are the you will be having the list of the things we have to tell whether this is available in enterprise manager or not the database log configuration environment report hub server properties message setting queue do you got the option what about answer the answer is database log configuration environment report and hub server properties present inside the enterprise manager message queue settings has separate message queues setting option so that is not available in enterprise manager what is sequence of jobs so you have to tell so here will be list of the jobs you have to tell what is the sequence so first job is state job second is tokenization third is load fourth is landing fifth is merge and sixth is match so what is the sequence so which will will be the first job so by this question i would like to explain you you should have the broader picture of the mdm jobs also so i think you can collect the sequence i hope you got the right sequence the correct sequence is here landing load stage job load job tokenization match job and merge job which of the following 
hub components can be promoted using metadata manager can we promote cleans function can we promote package using custom queries can we promote message queues these are the options uh, the fourth option we have the custom indexes can we promote custom indexes an answer is we can promote only the cleans functions and custom indexes package using custom queries and message queue cannot be promoted how many of operational reference store can be configured means how many ors we can configure in mdm hub option 1 option first is 1 option 2 second is 2 option third is 3 means we can configure 3 ors option 4 is unlimited I think you got the right answer option fourth that is unlimited but th for the performance perspective we can configure only one or two or is so that you can have the you can achieve the better performance and better operations in your MDM hub but you can configure n number of ORS next question in regards to match purpose which statement is not correct I hope you read the statement correctly in regards to match purpose which statement is not correct it is regarding the match purpose which is used normally in the match process match purpose defines the primary goal behind a match rule second option each match purpose supports a combination of mandatory and optional fields third option is both family and wide family are valid for match purpose household and wide household are valid for match purpose these are the options we have we have to choose which is not correct statement match purpose define the primary goal behind a match rule it's correct the so we can so the option is definitely yes but the option C both family and wide family are valid for match purpose this is wrong statement household and wide household are valid for match purpose that is correct so family and wide family not valid which one of the below are not base object related table or is not base objected related table so there will be list of the tables which we have to find out which one is not related to the base object underscore hist underscore raw underscore xref underscore mtch underscore hmrg so these are the tables we have and the answer i think you got the right answer the answer is underscore raw the underscore raw table created for the staging table the rest of the listed tables are associated with base object i hope this quiz is find uh, you interesting if you like this quiz just let me know i can create such more quiz sessions so that you can study or you can prepare for your exam thank you for watching this video if you like this video do not forget to click like button and if you have any questions or queries definitely you can mention in the comment section of this video thank you again and have a nice time